Hello everybody. Yes, it has been a hot minute. I know I have still been recovering from COVID and that has been a little bit more challenging than I'd expected. Anyway, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Nish and I do reactions here on YouTube. So if you had no idea, Armenia has a withdrawn from Eurovision 2021. As a fellow Armenian, I know I'm an Armenian with red hair. I'm also British and Cypriot. People just don't believe me every time I bring it up. I thought it would be nice to react to Armenia's past in Eurovision from 2006 all the way to 2020 because there has been some interesting numbers over the years and not just that, there's also been some questionable entries over the years. But before we get started guys, please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel over here. That is very important clicking that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you want to follow me over on Instagram, it is Nish101. <clears throat> yeah. Let us reminisce. I love doing these throwback episodes. So clicking play now. Andre! This was a bop when this came out. Like, Armenia came into Eurovision with a bang and they came eighth place. Like, you know 100% with that mono brow. He is Armenian. Ooh. Yes, that was a great one. 2007 flopped a bit with this one. I remember the toilet paper in the tree. This wasn't the one for me. Yeah. This was just a bit boring, Heiko. <laughs> this is so early 2000s. I'm dying. Hey, Sirusha! She's like queen of Armenia, this girl. And we came fourth! Gele, gele, hey! Gele, 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 come and say goodbye. You should make it right. Oh, and then the Duduk comes in this bit. Oh! 2009, also one of my favorite Eurovisions ever. Everybody move your body, we are all So this is Inga and Anush, and the song's literally called New Dance in Armenian. Look at the costumes here. They, this was amazing. One of the best costumes for Armenia ever, I think. With an bar. 2010. She's literally Angelina Jolie of Armenia, this girl, Eva Rivas. Look, this one was a little bit fresh for me. Like, the the beat was banging, but <laughs> I don't know what's going on over here with the guy, his mother, and then we got this dancing dude in the background. But this really is a good song, isn't it? And the apricot stone came out the tree at the end. Okay. Right. 2011 was a little bit of a shocker because this was the first time Armenia hadn't qualified for Eurovision. And this is why. It's just out of tune. It's... I mean, you know what? The beat's not bad. I, it, I, I don't mind the beat at all because I love a disco number, but I think for 2011, this just wasn't the one. Like, everyone was a bit tired of disco at this point. I mean, it's still kind of catchy, isn't it? I mean, it failed to qualify, and fair enough. I do not remember 2013 at all. Yeah, sorry, Dorian. This, this did nothing. I, could, I The fact that I can't even remember this is saying something. <laughs> He's so Armenian looking. I mean, all of these people are. Yes! Arab MP3 is like one of my favorite Armenian artists ever. Like honestly, this guy is amazing. If you haven't checked out his other stuff, please go do because, oh my gosh. But this was a banger for Armenia and we came fourth place. I mean, it had this like dubstep vibe. We loved it. I think it took a while to like build up, but once it did, it was like, yes. Yes, Aram. And his voice is so good. All right. 
This 2015 was quite a big year in Armenia because it was 100 years of the Armenian Genocide. That is kind of what this song is about, slash is what the song is about. The beat of this song was just a little bit boring in my opinion and we came 16th place so that's saying something isn't it. These guys are really good singers though, let's not forget that. Like you've got I think Inga or Anush from Inga and Anush in the band. There were some nice elements. I remember. This bit was really nice with the dudug. That bit was really, really nice, but apart from that, mm, it wasn't the best. Okay, we have 2016 with Yveta. Ooh. Oh, she's just literally everything. Uh -oh. Ooh. She's just owning it. I want her to come back so badly. Oh, it's so good. Oh, yes. Oh my God, I forgot about 2017. Oh, we didn't do very well. I thought Artsvik was actually very, very powerful. Like the instrumentals here. Ooh. Yeah, I like this. I don't know why I didn't do that well, that one. I knew why Sevak didn't qualify. The trap is not a good sound to use in Armenian music, okay? Let's just not do that ever again. Oh yeah, Sirvuk! How good did she look? Yeah, so as you can see, Armenia started doing kind of badly um, after like 2015, basically. Ooh, like it's catchy. Yeah, why didn't that qualify? Okay, we have the amazing Athena for 2020. It's a shame that she couldn't perform, honestly. Yeah, this was the first version. I was not a fan of this version. <laughs> and then they revamped it and it was a lot, lot better. Uh, but again, I'm not a huge fan of this trap sound and I personally think Armenia has a lot more amazing instruments uh, than that and that they should use it to their advantage. Like we've seen in Inga and Anush, Sirusha, they all have the dudug in there, which is the Armenian flute and the drums. Like you need to put this in there, Armenia. Yeah, I really like the revamp of this, so let's not forget that. But I just think we could do better, personally. Okay, that was all of them. As we can see from all those performances, Armenia does best when they mash up traditional Armenian ethnic music with a contemporary beat, something that people will actually move to because Armenians love to dance. We love a boogie and I think we should represent that in the Eurovision Song Contest because it's meant to be a big party, isn't it? So yeah, I really hope to see more of that in the future because we do best with that and I would love to see Armenia win one day. I really enjoyed that. It was a nice little throwback, wasn't it? If you guys have any other countries that you would like me to throw back to and see songs of their past, please let me know down in the comment section below and also please let me know what your favorite Armenian entry ever was because I would love to know. Mine was definitely Inga and Anush I think and I will see you guys very very soon. Bye bye!